show this as digital. In this video I will talk about the new patch notes on the test server and some of the other things I put out in my last video. There was a hitch in my last video I made on my channel and I'd just like to firstly apologise for this. Let's start with the infiltrator. The decoy grenade has made a return. As like last time it will make fake gun sounds and will show fake indicators on the map. But this one will distract not only basic Spitfire torrents but should also distract torrents built by AI on bases. Let's look at the new player spawn screen when one has died. Nothing has changed. Your player select and armory has changed to a different location on the screen but nothing is nothing new really. The death screen timer has had a small update. This simply looks new but carries over to the map screen and the death screen now. When you die you will have a small icon at the bottom of the screen but when you change the select character it will also carry on at the left corner of the screen. One other thing which has got to be one of my most favourite by far is all faction pistols now have scopes. Simple times one times two. This is really good and I hope it will encourage people to use the pistol more. I feel that this is an underused weapon and requires you know, a lot more skill. I hope the scope will encourage players to use it now as a main weapon and hopefully infiltrators should find this a lot easier to use. Given that, hopefully pistol play will become a more enjoyable part of the game and hopefully a lot more players will use these weapons. Another thing is, when you are flying, you use hover to shoot ground targets when, especially when you're flying in first person. Now when you hover you will see a little H. This means you're in hover mode. And this should make it easier for pilots to do backwards maneuvers, any maneuvers, especially if you're in a scythe, given that it's a lot more harder to guess when it's in hover mode. In my last video I was told the video jumped at the bunker part so I apologise. So basically the bunker is an armoured stronghold. Infantry can shoot from the inside out but you give up mobility but this is all for defence. These bunkers give up their space for almost a 360 degree turn. Added into this update are some small things I missed in my last video about bases. The new features I missed are reinforcement module. This should turn your Sunday into a main faction spawn for any player given the population is right at the current fight. This is as far as I can tell. One small but useless module is the faction banner. This does nothing but prove your support to your main faction. The most interesting update is the infantry tower. Once on the top floor, you are given a 360 degree angle to shoot from. This tower is over the base. The shield module will also affect this giving extra protection in the windows. There is also a ramp added in this. I do not believe this is needed but should allow for some amusing gameplay. Another thing in this update is the repair module will now make walls and bunkers, things like that indestructible while under the influence of this module. I see this being good since teamwork is a must. There will also be special callouts that target specific parts of modules or walls for the base to be taken over. A problem now is that good dugging bases will not be very easy to take hold of. As seen just earlier I shoot the wall with a rocket and nothing happens but when I damage the module with a pistol it damages it. This is good but also very bad. If you enjoyed this video leave a like, leave a comment or subscribe to me. I'm still new to this and I hope it's not too bad. I've played almost 3000 hours in this game so I'm not a noob but till next time digital out.